Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew Sintowski. I'm making this video about the, the current Bitcoin bear market that we're in. Um, guys, we've been in a bear market since November of 2021 when we reached a double top. We hit that 68, um, 68K double top that we, uh, I think that we had around November 10th. We hit that. And that was the first, the first top was in April of 2021. Yeah, so around November 7th, we hit that 68K top. Uh, but we hit the first top in April of 2021, and then it dipped. Then we saw a massive dip down, a, it was like 30K in June, or in July. So like a year ago, it was like 30K. You know, and um, thought for sure we were in a bear market then. Well, and when it started going back up, and we hit sixty-seven k in no in November, I thought I thought we were gonna go. I thought we were gonna do more than three point two x this uh, cycle, guys, in the bull market. But we didn't. We didn't. We didn't more than three point two x from the previous 2017 uh high of 20k so there was a lot of crypto influencers out there um crypto personalities crypto youtubers that you know they were predicting 100k plus easily man and i was one of those guys that i i, I was really taken aback by the 3.2 i thought we'd do more than that you know but what we're seeing guys we're seeing longer cycles and we're seeing shorter returns on Bitcoin. We're not going to 10x anymore per cycle. Those days are done. There's no more 100x. Um, not with BTC. You know, the market cap's too mature. Um, the price is too high. You, you, you know, I'm not, you know, I'd be happy with a 1.5x next bull run. And, you know, we're probably not going to have, a, we're probably not going to reach another uh, all time high. Till after the 2024 having, and uh, so we're looking at probably 2025 for the next um, bull run top somewhere. But guys, I'm but we are in a bear market. There, there's no doubt about it. I was um, hesitant to say that for a while, just because I thought, man, like, like I said, man, I was just really taken aback with the 3.2x. Um. You know, uh, we only went up 3.2x from the previous all-time high. And <clears throat> that doesn't sound like a lot, but like I said, Bitcoin already has, you know, Bitcoin already is, you know, or was $68,000. So it's not going to 5x, you know, per cycle anymore. But... But yeah, I mean, I, I was hesitant to say that we were in a bear market for a while just because I thought, you know, hey man, maybe this was another bounce. Maybe we were gonna go up a little bit more, but we're not, guys. We're clearly in a bear market. We broke under that 30K that we formed last um, summer. And we're clearly in a bear market, man. And we've seen, we've seen Terra, all uh, Terra Luna, we saw that exit scam. We're seeing what happened with Celsius. <coughs> like I said, guys, not your keys, not your coins. You know, you give out, you know, you want 4% yield. And you're going to give up your keys for that, man. It's really silly, man. And that's what some of these people are going through right now. That, that you know, got, that made some yield off Celsius, man. They lost their crypto over that. But, uh, <coughs> I don't think, guys, anybody buying right now at 20K, I think is silly. I think we're going to see a bottom between 7 and 13K. Uh, I, I won't be surprised one at all if we, if we hit four digits. Um, that's because we only 3.2x. So 
A lot of people are thinking 20 k is resistance because that was the 2017 top. I don't see that as resistance at all. And I think anybody buying this little relief rally and buying around here is just, it's silly, man. This, this thing's going to dip a lot further than this. You know, we need to see an 80%, 80, uh, 80, 80 to 90% dip from all time highs to reach bottom. And that's going to be between 7 and 13K. So I'm really holding off of four digits here, guys. I don't think we're going to find a bottom until between November 2021 and, or between November 2022 and May 2023. That's when I see we, we reach bottom. And it takes time, guys. Like I said, the more the, the longer Bitcoin has matured as an asset, the longer these cycles are taken. Long gone are the cycles of, you know, the first cycle of June 20. Uh, June 2011 where, you, where we reached a $32 top and we bottomed out in November of 2011 at $2. Those days are long gone guys. That was a short you know, five month thing. Now these cycles are taking four years. You know. So. But I think we're going to see a bottom here in in November of 2022 between, between then and May 2023. It's just going to take time guys. You just got to, you know, pretty much just look at the charts here and there and just, you know, don't don't pay too much attention to it. Just understand that this is a long game. You have to have severe patience, man. You know, the best time to buy is at the bottom. Don't buy the dips. Don't buy the weekly dips. Don't buy when you get your weekly check. Buy at the absolute bottom, man. And uh, it's going to be between 80 and 90 percent dip from all time high price. So we're probably looking at between 7 and 13K. I really hope we see four digits here, guys. I won't be surprised at all. Um, especially if Michael Saylor has to um, liquidate his um, BTC holdings. But I don't really know if that's going to happen. He's pretty dead set on holding what he's got. But he bought at a really high price. But if he just holds, he'll make that all back. But... um. You know there are no super, there are no super cycle guys. It's not going to just keep going up and up and up, and it's not going to keep going down forever either, man. It's, it's going to reach a bottom just like it always has. It's too great of an asset. It's probably the best asset to own in the world, um, in my opinion. But like I said, guys, we're in a we're in a bear market, and if you're holding your Bitcoin, just hold it, man. Um, you have no choice to hold it, but to hold it at this point. And uh, just wait for the next all-time high, man. And you can sell your bags then and buy at the next bottom. So that's my opinion, guys. Just giving you my advice on the Bitcoin bear market and when I think we'll reach a bottom.